Good morning. Today's gospel story is based on Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 12. The disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. First of all, what is prayer? To put it as simply as possible, it just means talking to God. When you're friends with someone, part of that friendship is talking and listening. If you don't ever talk to your friends, you won't know what's going on in their lives. The more you speak to your friends, the more you understand them and the closer you become. It's the same with God. If you don't spend time talking with God, you won't know much about God. You won't be very close. And the more time you spend apart from God, the harder it is to have a strong relationship with God. Now, there are people that you talk to every day, your family, friends, and teachers. Just add God to that list. If you get in the habit of talking to God every day, you'll have a strong relationship with God. Now, Jesus and his disciples spoke in Aramaic, and the gospel writers translated their words into Greek. And eventually, the gospels were translated into many languages, including English. And today, I'm going to teach you one of the most common English translations of the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. And we're going to use these ribbons, white, blue, purple, green, yellow, red, brown, and gold, to teach the prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, blue ribbon to remind us of the sky and heavens, hallowed be thy name. White ribbon to signify something holy. That means something set apart or special. The white reminds us of wedding dresses or christening gowns because those are very special events. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Purple ribbon, like the purple robes and majesty worn by kings and queens. On earth as it is in heaven, for the green ribbon for the green growing earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Yellow ribbon for the wheat that we use to make the bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now trespasses are those things that we've done to hurt other people are things that other people have done to hurt us. The red ribbon reminds us that Jesus died so that we're forgiven. We're supposed to give others because God forgave us. And lead us not into temptation. Temptation is something that we really want to do, especially something wrong or bad for us. And the brown ribbon reminds us of those things that tempt us, like chocolate which is one of the things that tempts me. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. A gold ribbon for the kingdom, power, and glory and all that belongs to God. Now let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to love us and to teach us how to talk to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.